Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Bryn, and today I'm coming at you guys with a Bath & Body Works haul, but not just any haul. They recently dropped their Stranger Things candle collection, and so I'm here to show you what I got and review it. But before I get started, some of you may be wondering why I changed my channel name. Uh, my channel name used to be B and BW Bryn. Um, and I actually just dropped the B and BW and now I'm just Bryn. So I figured because, I mean, obviously I love Bath and Body Works and that is the main content that I put out here on YouTube. Uh, but you know, I do other things too and I just don't want to limit myself to one category. So, and in the future, I may be doing more vlog style videos. So, um, yes, I did change my channel name. It's just Bryn. So, and welcome if you're new. Uh, yeah. So, you guys. <laughs> so, yesterday. No, not yesterday. Yes. Yesterday, they dropped their... Stranger Things collection. They've been teasing it for the longest time. And I, first of all, usually when they do this limited release collection, they give us a nice candle sale. Uh, this time it was only $10 off and the candles were $30. So that made them $20 each. And I had a coupon, so it did make the candles around $16 each. And I was going to go crazy. I was going to get backups because, first of all, I love Stranger Things. It's my favorite show. Uh, I still love it. A lot of people think, like, there's not much hype for it anymore. But I still love it. I'm excited for the fifth season. And secondly, the candle scents sounded really amazing, like, like candle scents that I would already want not necessarily even though even that they were stranger things but they had a waffle candle and an ice cream candle and like I those just sounded like scents that I would love to have uh but with the price I went in thinking that I was only gonna buy one of each and I First of all, I walked up and there was nobody there. There was no one lined up for the candles. It was just me. They did have a limited amount. I think they had like eight of each candle. So I, here's my bag. Uh, yeah, so I, we were sniffing the candles, me and my husband, and he actually really liked two of them a lot. So I was like, you know what? I don't want to waste my coupon and just buying four candles. So I did get six of them. So two of them I did get two of. Uh, but let's start it out with, first of all, we have Hopper's Coffee here. And for each of these candles, they do have two sides to the label. So this is the front side. And then this is the back side. It just says mornings are for coffee and contemplation. That's what he says in the show. Um, so it's kind of like the upside down. If you watch the show, you, you know what that means. Um, but the scent notes for this are roasted coffee grounds, tonka bean, and splash of half and half. You guys, I you already know I was going to love this candle because Paris Cafe is my all-time favorite candle, but I didn't think that I needed two of these just because I have so many Paris Cafes and other coffee candles, so I just got one, but it is super rich. It almost has like a chocolatey note, and it's very similar to Paris Cafe. So if you don't get your hands on this candle, you guys can just pick up Paris Cafe, but I just thought it was cute with the label and it goes with the collection. So got one of those. And then next up, this one was probably the most interesting candle of the whole collection. It is Argyle's Pineapple Pizza. 
And if you watch the show, you know he loves pineapple pepperoni pizza. Or is it? I think there's jalapeno on it too. Something like that. Um, but the scent notes say baked pizza dough, juicy pineapple, and fresh basil. So this is the front, which I, I really like this um, style with the checkered and everything. And then he works at Surfer Boy Pizza. So that's the other side of the candle. And this one probably, honestly, okay, I, I have to say I'm really not that big of a fan of the labels. I feel like they could have gotten so much more creative with these labels and it. Just, they just kind of like slapped something on there. I really was not a fan of the labels. But this one in particular, I think it really fits with the theme. Like, I don't think any of them are very cohesive. Like, none of the none of the labels go together, in my opinion. Um, but this one, I think, is like the most, like, a, the best label out of all of them. So let's talk about the scent. DW Homes recently put out, I think it was like a year ago or something, they put out a uh, pineapple pepperoni pizza scent, pretty much the exact same scent as this. And they spot on nailed it. It smelled exactly like pizza. And I actually purchased one and burned it. And I liked it weirdly enough. Uh, but it was spot on that scent. And this, I don't think really at first, you get like a pineapple, like almost like perfumey scent. And in the background, there's just like kind of hint of a basil scent, but you really don't get no crust. And it doesn't give, it's not really giving pizza to me, which I think is kind of smart that they did that. <laughs> because their Rome Pizzeria scent was so strong and so like powerful that it turned a lot of people off. This is more of like... It's more of like a whimsical, like light scented candle that kind of is like reminiscent of pizza and not necessarily like straight up pizza because I think most people would get turned off by that. I, not me, however, because I like very authentic food scented candles, but for the masses, I think they were smart and they just went with something that's kind of similar to pizza and not like spot on pizza, but that's that one. And then the two that we decided to get two of is obviously the waffle scent. So here it is. Let me pull it out here. So this is Eleven's Waffles. Of course, she's obsessed with the um, Eggo Waffles. And then the back, I really don't, I really am not loving this, but it says friends don't lie. I don't know. I'm just not loving the label, but there it is. And then it says frozen waffles, maple syrup, melted butter. To me, this smells nothing like a waffle. I don't know. I It smells really good and delicious, but I'm mostly getting like a maple syrup and it smells a little artificial with like a hint of butter, but there's really no like cakey waffle scent at all in here. It's definitely not pumpkin pecan waffles. That is very strong and nutty and caramely and rich. And this one is like a hint of maple and like a little bit of butter, but it still smells good. Don't get me wrong. And I, when we go to burn it, it I hope it, that comes out more. So we did get two of those. And then my favorite candle of the entire collection is the Steve's Scoop. Scoops. <laughs> um, so here's the front of it. And then the back is Scoops Ahoy Ice Cream Parlor, which is kind of cute. I mean, I don't know. I just don't feel like any of them go together. It's weird. Uh, but this one is Vanilla Ice Cream Golden Waffle Cone Parlor Sprinkles. You guys, this smells exactly like Berry Waffle Cone without the berry. I've been asking for this scent forever. I've been wanting them to do Boardwalk Vanilla Cone in a candle form. 
And however, Boardwalk Vanilla Cone does have like that caramel note, which this does not have that, but it does smell straight up like vanilla bean ice cream in a waffle cone. It's so delicious. You just don't get that, um, the berry note, which is, I, I've been asking for that. So, and then, so you get the waffle cone and the ice cream, and then you get like maybe a hint. I don't know if it's just the packaging, like playing tricks on me, but I get like a hint of like ocean air. Like you're walking on the beach eating your ice cream cone. It's perfection. This candle, this scent is perfection. The only thing I wish it was a little bit stronger. Um, all these candles are a little bit light smelling to me, uh, with the exception of this one. This one's pretty strong because it is a coffee scent. Um, but overall, I am so excited that they put out a Stranger Things collection. I love that show. And I just wish that the labels were a little cuter and the price is definitely a deterrent for a lot of people. If they do put these on sale, I might pick up a couple of extra, but I, you guys know I don't need any more candles. Um, but yeah, so super excited about the Stranger Things collab. And then a while back, I had purchased some new fall items and I thought that since this collection was a little smaller, I would just throw in some fall goodies that I recently picked up. You guys, it is literally a hundred degrees right now outside where I live. A hundred exactly, a hundred degrees. And we're talking about fall, but that's how it is. They put out fall in July, so here we are. Um, <laughs> So let's get into it. I got a couple of body care items and let me just say, I have been really frustrated lately with Bath and Body Works body care prices. They used to be $16.95 and under so that you could use your rewards. And I was saving my rewards because I didn't think these would be that expensive. And let me tell you, they were. Um, they were the body cream and the spray are too expensive to use for a reward so i don't know what i'm going to use my rewards on now because i like to use them on body care so like what are our rewards for now anyways like i'm not going to use it on a pocket back holder you know what i mean so anyways so they had a mist sale so i i knew i wanted a mist so i went in there and i got the blueberry bundt cake oh my gosh i was so excited that this was coming harvest blueberries honey drizzle fluffy cake i love gourmand scents and i love blueberry so uh so you do get the blueberry it's nice and sweet and I was thinking that this was just going to be blueberry maple pancakes repackaged, but it's not. Um, to me, it smells like a very, very sweet blueberry. It's a little like a hint of a cake, but it's not strong like cake scent. It's more like a vanilla blueberry scent. It smells really good. Uh, definitely not blueberry maple pancakes. That one is a little bit stronger and a little bit richer. Um, but if you want more of like a lighter blueberry scent, sweet scent, then check this one out. And I did use a reward and I got the body wash. So here's that. And then this one smells, um, it smells a little bit different. This one's like almost like a richer blueberry scent, like like if the blueberries were like soaked in like sugar or something, but I love blueberry. I can't not get that. So, uh, so yeah, I did end up getting this little set and then I do, I do want the body cream, but they're going to have to have a sale or something. So, and then I did have a a uh, coupon for a mini and I didn't think I needed a big one in this scent so I just got the little one and it's the pumpkin swirl cake and the notes for this are pumpkin spice caramel toffee creamy vanilla again I thought this might be a repackage of pumpkin pecan waffles but I don't think it is definitely not this one 
I'm not obsessed with this one, especially in the spray. Um, let me smell, well, this, I got the body wash too, spoiler alert, and it's got a wrapper on it, so I don't want to take it off. Um, but the spray, it kind of, it almost reminds me of the gingerbread swirl scent that came out a few years ago, which I didn't really care for that scent. It kind of smelled a little cardboardy. I don't even, sometimes I describe scents as smelling like cardboard and I feel like you would have to smell it and to know what I'm talking about. But I don't know, it's got like a, let me maybe spray it on my skin, maybe it'll smell better. It's very light, you guys, this scent is very light. But it just kind of has like a sweet sugary smell. It doesn't really, and, and maybe like a hint of cake. I'm not getting any strong like caramel or pumpkin or anything like that. I'm just getting like a lightly sweet, maybe cinnamony scent. So if you like that and you think pumpkin pecan waffles was too strong, maybe check this scent out. And I think the body wash is just going to be delicious in the shower. So got that. And then I, when I walked in there, I wasn't planning on getting anything from the new gingham collection. But I did see a couple pocket back holders and I don't know, like I really don't need pocket back holders. I don't even really use them anymore because my purse is so small that they like don't fit in there. Um, but I saw this and I had to have it. It's this little varsity jacket and it is just the cutest little thing I've ever seen in my entire life. So I had to pick this up. It was... $7.95, really not bad. And then I saw this one. I've been seeing this one like online all the time, but I've never seen it in the store. And it's just this like dangle of all these things. It has a whistle. Um, I don't know what this is, but I think it's like a, the lady at the store said it's like to pull the door handle so you don't have to touch it when you're like in a public restroom. But I don't know, it's metal. I don't know what you'd use this for. If you know, let me know in the comments. Um, and then it has this um, little heart light and the pocket, pocket back holder, which is gingham pink. And I just thought this was really cute and handy. It's always nice to have a whistle in case of emergencies, ladies you know. And this was a little pricier, $14.95. So you could use a reward for this. Um, I didn't, but I don't know. It's just cute and like has little handy things to use. So we got to be safe out there, ladies. So <laughs> get this at Bath and Body Works. And then I did get some pocket back, um, some pocket backs because they had some cute really interesting scents and I think it's like six for something now it used to be five for something but yeah now it's six so I got six. Oh, I got seven oops um oh I remember they were on sale for a dollar each that's what it was okay so I just got crisp morning air I got pumpkin pecan waffles always delicious and then I saw that they had brown sugar toaster treat. And this one looked really interesting. I'm not really a fan of like cinnamon scented stuff unless it's mixed with like fruit or like pumpkin. Um, but it smells pretty good. And then they also in that same little collection, they had blue raspberry freeze, which this has been out before. And I think it was called something else but it's just their like blue icy scent. Smells really good. And then the reason why I got pocket backs is this one, Wildberry French Toast. Okay, this is like my scent for fall. I love this scent. I, I'm excited to use this. So I actually got three of these. <laughs> you guys, I, I have a lot of pocket backs, but I actually do use them. And people at work, when I use these at work, people 
compliment me and they're like, oh my God, they smell it from like a mile away and they, they love smelling these. So hopefully, I don't know. Um, they always compliment me on it, but wild berry French toast, I could not pass this one up. And then I did pick up two candles because the candle sale wasn't that great. I think it was $14.95. So I just got two and I'm really trying to limit myself on the candles because I have so many and I'm I'm not going to pick that much up this time, even though I just got six Stranger Things candles. Okay, <laughs> but I did get a freshly brewed coffee, which this came out last year and I don't know why I got this because I have so many coffee candles and I love this scent. I mean, it's basically Paris Cafe. Enjoy the room filling aroma of fresh coffee beans as you pour yourself a cup of ambition. This is very similar to Paris Cafe, if not exactly the same, but I just thought the packaging was super cute for it. It just reminds me of being at like a little coffee shop. And I don't know, I just thought it was really cute. So I got suckered into buying that one. Um, but the reason I was gonna even buy candles is for this one, the Mixed Berry Crumble. This looked super interesting. It kind of, maybe it's Wildberry French Toast, I don't know, but Mixed Berry Crumble. This one is Freshly Picked Berries, Buttery Crumble Topping, and Cinnamon Sugar. This one actually, this one reminds me of Marshmallow Cereal Bar. It has that same kind of artificial blueberry scent. But instead of being mixed with marshmallow, I think it's mixed with like cinnamon sugar crumble. I like this one, you guys. I love marshmallow cereal bar um, or blueberry marshmallow bar, whatever it's called. So, and I actually like this and I like that they added the little, like little bit of cinnamon to make it more fall themed. So I like this one. It does smell a little light, hoping it burns strong, but that was it for my, uh, I just got two candles so far for the fall collection. Um, they are putting out another set of a ton of fall items July 29th. So look out for that. There's going to be so many amazing scents coming. You guys, they have a pumpkin s'mores candle coming. I'm really excited for that. And they have another Stranger Things drop coming, which I don't need any more candles. You guys stop. My wallet is begging you. Um, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this haul. I'm excited for fall. We have to get through summer still, but, um, yeah. And, oh, and today they dropped Halloween online for app members. So go check it out. Go look at all the Halloween stuff. I honestly don't think I'm going to be purchasing, purchasing anything early you guys. So I'm waiting for a sale. That stuff is pricey. Okay. Um, but go check it out. It, I, Halloween's here, you guys. It's crazy. I'll see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.